Hey y'all, welcome to Tai Chi with Tish. I'm Tish with Earth Monkey Energies, and we're here on the Dix campus, the beautiful Dix campus. You can see right near downtown Raleigh, there's downtown Raleigh right there. And we're working with the folks here at the city of Raleigh and at Dix Park to bring you these Tai Chi videos. So let's get started. Okay, the first thing you gotta do whenever you start any type of exercise program is you've gotta talk about safety. So there's two main safety points here in Tai Chi. The biggest one is stay inside your comfort zone. If something hurts, stop. Some exercise programs say no pain, no gain. That's not the line of Tai Chi. The line of Tai Chi is no pain, period. If something hurts, stop and adjust. Our body has thousands of different ways that it can move, so it's really important for you to explore the way that your body can move without any pain. The second part of safety is shoes. You want to make sure that your shoes are closed toed, closed in, and they'll stay on your feet because the last thing you want to do is trip and fall because of your shoes. You can also go barefoot, but it's a little bit dangerous unless you know your terrain and to make sure that there's no sharp objects or hard objects. It's really nice to do Tai Chi barefoot outside, but again, it's, it can be pretty dangerous and we don't want to hurt our feet or get any type of infections because it felt so good at the time. Okay, so that's enough about safety. So let's talk now about the principles of Tai Chi. Tai Chi has multiple layers. It's very much like the proverbial onion. It can be a superficial exercise that's a nice thing to do a few times a week, or it can really bring a lot of meditative benefits and help a lot of your body systems to work and optimize. So the first principle in Tai Chi is to relax. Whatever is worrying you, whatever's on your head, whatever stress, anxiety, whatever's going on, just take it to the side. You're not going to solve that while you're doing your Tai Chi. Your Tai Chi is a gift to your body give it to your body and don't break it up by thinking about all those stressful things. As we all know, you're going to think about stressful things, but you just need to let it go. When the thoughts come, witness, oh, yep, there's that thought again, and let it go. And relax your body. So we have to relax our mind, we have to relax our body, we have to keep our joints open, loose, and supple. In China, it's called song your joints. So when your joints are open, then more blood can flow through them. Your energy can flow much more readily than when you lock your joints, and that makes everything stop. So that's the first principle. That's the R in RPP. The first P stands for posture. The second P stands for perseverance. Your Tai Chi is your Tai Chi. The more you work your Tai Chi, the more you invest in your Tai Chi, the more it's going to do for you. The second part of your Tai Chi is your Tai Chi is everybody's body is different and everybody moves differently. Everybody starts from a different starting point and that's all okay. There's no judge in Tai Chi, none at all. Again, it's a gift that you give to yourself and your body, so let it receive it. Give it to your body and move the way that your body can move. Again, we're all different. Okay, so that's the main three principles, RPP. Now, let's go on with the form. And the way I'm gonna teach you the form is I'm gonna show you the form first, and then I'm gonna break it down for you. I'm gonna do the feet, and then I'm gonna do the arms, and then we'll do it together a few times, and then I'll give you some time to do it yourself. Muscle memory is very important in Tai Chi. When we first start to learn the form, sometimes it doesn't seem very relaxing because our minds are busy trying to figure out what we're supposed to do, what's our feet supposed to do, what's our hands supposed to do, all of those type things. But when you practice, then your body retains that memory and will start to do it for you. So that's the reason that I give you that time to do it yourself. And then we'll move on to the next movement. Okay, let's get started. So it's called preparation and commencement. And as it said before, we'll start with our feet and we'll show you how the feet work. All right, so the first thing you need to do is you need to put all your weight on your left foot. You need to take your right foot, take the heel of your right foot, touch it to the inside ball of your left foot, 
pivot on your right toe and set it down. Now your feet should be parallel. They should be directly under your hip sockets. They should be pointing forward and your toes should be even at the top. Okay, so that's when we plant our feet down. Once we plant them down, we need to think about eight points and make connection with the ground with each foot with eight different points. Your five toes point in the middle of the ball of your foot, the outside of the arch of your foot, and then your heel. And you root down through those eight points, eight points, 16 points, okay? Then the only other lower body movement we do is we bend our knees slightly. Now let's talk about the bent knee slightly. Now, this bent knee, again, we wanna keep our joints loose, but this is more than just loose joints. This is a bent knee, if you can, if your knees allow it. And this is the height that you're gonna be at for the rest of the form, so you need to make sure that that is a comfortable height. Tai Chi is about the efficiency of energy. And so the last thing you wanna do is be taking your, we're gonna stand up now, we're gonna go down now. I'm wasting my energy. So we want to just find that height and try to stay at that height for the rest of the form. Okay? Now we're going to talk about the arms for this movement. So the palms, your palms are very important in Tai Chi as well. Your palms transmit energy. They accept energy. They receive energy. If you don't believe it, you'll figure it out. As we do the form, you'll feel something going back and forth between your palms. So your palm direction is very important when we move our hands and you'll hear me talk about it quite a bit. So our arms start with preparation and commencement, our arms start by our sides, palms facing in. We start to bring our hands forward, our arms forward. Again, straight, but not really straight, our elbows are loose. Once we get about to our chest or shoulder height, we're gonna wanna turn our palms face down and then we're gonna roll them towards us. Just move them towards you. And once they get a few inches from your body, you're gonna to wanna to push them down. Push them down. And then as you near your hips, you're gonna put them beside your side again with your palm facing in. Now you're gonna to wanna to bring them back up. And this time, you're gonna give a hug. And this, you're gonna hug the ball. And your ball can be whatever you want it to be. It can be the earth, it can be your mama, it can be your spouse, it can be your babies, it can be your dog, it can be whatever you want it to be. So whatever, whoever you think needs a big hug, you bring your hands on up. There we go. Palms facing in, so the energy's coming this way. Palms facing in, and like we're holding a ball or hugging something that we love. Okay, so that's our feet and that's our arms. Now let's put the two together. So I'm gonna back up just a second. So again, to start off with, we start with our feet. We put all of our weight on our left foot. We take our right foot, take the heel of the right foot, touch it to the inside ball of the left foot, pivot on that right toe, and set it down. Again, feet now are parallel. They're facing forward. They're directly under our hip joints, and our toes are mostly parallel. Hands are beside our side, palms facing in. Now let's get started. Let's bring our palms on our hands on up, palms facing each other when they get chest to shoulder height, palms face down. You're gonna roll it toward you. And now let's push into the water. And as we push down, we're gonna bend our knees. And again, make sure this is a comfortable height for your knees. Now let's talk about posture. Your crown should be reaching to, if you're inside, it should be reaching to the ceiling. If you're outside, it should be reaching up to the heavens, up to the universe, whatever you call what's above us when you're outside. Your feet should be rooting down into the earth. In addition to that, when you bend your knees, your sacrum kind of tilts to straighten your spine. Your spine should be like a stack of coins so that each vertebra is stacked right on top of each other. Okay, and it should also be like a string of pearls. A nice string of pearls has a knot in between each pearl and that's the room you need to elongate your spine to allow your energy and your blood, your circulation to really work and move everything through, okay? So we've just gone down into the water and our hands go back beside our side. And now we bring our hands up in the hug, left hand on the bottom, right hand on the top. All right, now let's go on to the second movement. And as I said before, 
I'm going to do it for you first without talking, and then I'll break down the lower body, then I'll break down the upper body, and we'll put it together. All right, here we go. So this is how we ended up from the first movement. Alright, now an important thing to talk about is directions in Tai Chi. So we're going to move in all directions when we do this Tai Chi form. But typically when we're facing front, we're going to call that north. And directly to our right, we're going to call that east. Directly to our west, we're going to call that, or directly to our left, we're going to call that west. So that way you can know when I say go east, we're going east. You're going to go perpendicular 90 degrees to your body when I say east. And you know what northeast means and northwest means. So hopefully that will help you with your directions as we place our feet. Okay, so once again, in the last position, we wound up like this. And to show you our lower feet. So now our weight is going to shift totally to our right foot. We're going to pick up the toes of our left foot and we're going to move them northeast. Now our weight's going to shift back to our left foot, we're picking up our right foot, and we're rolling it out to the east. And always in Tai Chi stepping, you want to go with the heel first. Again, we root down through the heel. So we place the heel down, then the ball, then the toes. Once your foot has firm connection to the ground, then you shift your weight. Once you shift your weight, you're going to want to pick up the toes of your left foot and rotate them east. One of the important parts of rotating your toes is where your power source is. In Tai Chi and in Chinese Kung Fu, your power source is in your Dantian, which is a few inches below your navel. So always, whichever direction that Dantian faces is where your power is really facing. So it's really important to move your body as a unit root down through your heel and then move your body with your hips. Let your power come from your hips and your Dantian. Okay, so once we've shifted fully to east, now all we do is we flow forward all of our weight onto our right and our left foot just comes to touch beside our right foot. Alright, so now let's talk about our hands. What do our hands do during this? Our hands they have an easy job this movement. So we start off hugging the ball and once we move to the side all we do is we go top and bottom of the ball. Left on the bottom, right on the top with your palms facing each other. So that's it. Now let's put the two together. Okay, so we have our feet which are about hip width apart which are directly under our hip sockets, right? Our knees are bent we're hugging the ball. All of our weight is going to shift to our right, toes of our left come up, they shift to northeast, our weight goes back on our left, our right foot comes up, hugs the earth if you can, heel first, ball then toe, then pick up that left toes and rotate them. As you do remember, your hips rotate and then simply flow forward and as you move all your weight on your right foot you're going to want to hold the ball with your left hand on the bottom, right hand on the top, palms facing each other. Okay, let's do that one more time and then we'll do all the movement together. Okay, so we're hugging the ball, weight on your right, toes of your left up, they shift to northeast. Your weight shifts onto your left. Pick your right foot up and you rotate it the east, heel, ball toe, toes of your left come up and they shift, your hips shift, now you're fully facing east. Now you're going to want to just shift your weight onto your right, your hands are going to go top and bottom and your left is going to join the right. Alright, now let's do it from the beginning and then we'll give you a couple minutes to work this new movement out yourself. Alright, all your weight is on your left. Take the heel of your right to the ball of your left, pivot on that right toe, set her down. Feet are parallel, facing forward. All right, hands beside your side. Remember to root down through your feet and pull up through your crown. 
Take a nice deep breath. Let's inhale. And as we exhale, we're going to raise our hands, palms facing each other. Now palms are going to face down. Roll them toward you. And now let's push on down into the water. And now your knees are bending. Remember your sacrum tilts. Your backbone is straight like a stack of coins and a string of pearls. Your crown is pulling up. Hands are back beside you. Bring them on up. And now we're going to hug the ball. Weight shifts to your right. Toes of your left come up. They rotate to northeast. Your weight shifts to your left. Pick your right foot up and we roll it to east. We land on our heel. Ball toe. Weight shifts. Toes of your left up. And go to east. Flow forward onto your right and your hands come top and bottom and your left hand touches your right. All right, now why don't you take a couple minutes and do it yourself, and we'll see you back for move three. All right, let's go on to move three. As we said before, we're going to do it for you without speaking, and then we'll break down the lower body, then we'll break down the upper body, and then do it together. All right, so this is where we wound up with the second movement. Now let's move forward. All right, so we wound up like this from the second movement. All of our weight is on our right foot. Remember, our knees are bent, and our left foot, we're just on our toes, and they're tapped right beside our right foot. Okay, so when we're ready to go, we just take our left foot out, and we rotate it out. And remember, once we get north, we want to land on our heel, ball toe, then shift weight. Once we start to shift the weight, we're going to pick up the toes of our right foot, and shift them forward, moving that center of power. Now we're fully facing forward. Now we bring this right foot forward to meet our left foot, and then we roll it out to the east again. Land heel, ball toe, shift weight, and our toes of our left up and over, moving our power source east. All right, so that's our lower body. Now let's do our upper body. So we were here holding the ball, and once we step out, we're gonna do something similar to a break in martial arts. You're gonna take your left arm, and you're gonna bring it up, and you're gonna bring your right hand down. So your right is perpendicular to your left, your left is parallel to the ground, your left palm is facing you. Your right palm is gonna be facing down, and again, it's perpendicular to your left. So your left comes up and your right comes down. And it keeps coming down once it gets beside your hips. Now it's ready to come back up. And you circle your hand around and you bring it up to meet your left as if you're holding a ball. So your right palm is facing your left palm. At this point, your right forearm is parallel to the ground. Your left forearm is perpendicular to the ground. When we move east, we simply take the proverbial ball that we're holding and we move it east. Okay, so that's our arms. Now let's put the two together. So this is where we wound up, remember? And so then we're gonna roll our left out, heel, ball, toe, our hands start as soon as the heel hits. So we're bringing that left hand up parallel to the ground. We're bringing the right down it down beside your hip. Once it gets beside your hip, you're going to lift up the toes of your right foot and shift them forward, shifting that power center forward. And your right hand is beside your hip. Now you're going to roll it forward. You're going to take it up. And as you bring it up, you're going to step forward all your weight on your left foot and you're bringing your right foot to touch it. Okay, now we're holding the ball with our hands. Again, right is parallel, left is perpendicular palms facing each other. Now we take our right hand, our right foot and roll it out, landing heel, ball, toe. As your weight shifts, the toes of your left up and east, and as you shift your toes, that's when you move your ball forward. Okay, 
Let's do it one more time, then we'll take it from the top. Okay, so we were facing this way, holding our ball. Your left foot rolls forward. Heel, ball, toes, start your break, bring it on up. Toes of your right, up and over, fully facing north. Right hand circles around, comes up to meet the left, your right foot. All your weight shifts onto your left foot. Now you're rolling your right foot out. We're going heel, ball, toe, shift the left toes, and move your ball to the east. All right, now let's do it all together, and then we'll give you some time to work it out yourself. All right, so we're holding our ball, and now we're gonna move our foot, our left foot north. As our heel touches, our left hand comes up, and our right hand starts going down. Our left ball and toes hit, our weight starts to shift, our right toes up and over, right hand beside our side. Rolling around, bring it on up, now bring your right foot along with it, your right foot taps beside your left foot, and you're holding the ball. Take your right foot, you roll it out to east, land heel, ball toe, pick up the toes of your left foot, leaving your heel on the ground, pivot on your heel, toes of your left, face east, and you move your ball east. Alright, now let's do it all from the top, all from the beginning, and then we'll give you some time to work it out yourself. All right, so let's remember, we start with our feet. We plant everything, all of our weight on our left foot, heel of our right to the ball of our left, and we pivot on our right big toe, setting that foot down. Our feet should be parallel, directly under our hip joints, facing forward with our toes even. Hands beside our sides. Let's root down through our feet into the earth, pull up through our crown up to the ceiling, and let's take a nice deep breath here. Let's breathe in, as we breathe out, let's bring our hands forward, shoulder height, palms go down, roll them towards you, let's sink them down, bend your knees, where it's comfortable, remember to stay in your comfort zone, hands beside your side, let's bring it back up forward, and now we're going to give it a hug. All of our weight shifts onto our right. Our toes of our left come up. They rotate northeast. Weight shifts onto our left. Pick up your right, and we're going to roll it out to the east. Heel, ball, toe. Then your left toes up and over. Now we move forward on our right, and our hands go top and bottom of the ball. Our left rolls out to north. We land heel, ball, toe. We start our break with our left coming up, our right coming down, our right gets by our hip, right toes up and over, now we're fully facing north. Right hand comes up, right foot follows, and we're holding the ball. I'm going to roll that right foot out, heel, ball, toe, the toes of your left up, over, and take the ball in. All right, so this is where we wind up after our step three, and we're gonna start step four. And again, like I said before, I'm not gonna talk at first, I'm just gonna show it to you, and then I'll break down the lower body, then the upper body, and then we'll put the two together. Okay, so let's get started. All right, so now let's look at our lower body. If you notice, our lower body really didn't do a whole lot. We didn't take any steps, but we did shift our weight back and forth. So we were here where we were facing east, and our, all, most of our weight's on our right foot. We probably got about 85% on our right foot and about 15% on our left foot. And all we do, we take our weight back to our left foot, so we're almost changing it. It's almost 85-15, so we go back to our left foot, the toes of our right foot come up and we stay like so for a bit 
And then when we're ready, we simply shift our weight forward again. Okay? Now, let's see what happens with our arms. Here's where a lot of activity happens in this move. So we're holding the ball here, and we bring it here. We roll the ball across the front of us, and up the back, and then our wrists cross. So my right forearm is about parallel with the earth, and my left is perpendicular with the crossed wrist. Right palm facing me, left palm facing my right shoulder. We rotate back to the east. As we rotate back, our left palm is going to face east, and we're going to press all in one movement. And then as we extend our hands, we grab that ball back, and we bring it up to our eyes, push it down into the water, let it pop right back up, and then we push. Alright, so now let's put the two together. Alright, so we've got the ball here, and now all of our weight shifts back on our left. We roll the ball across us, and up our other side. Right hand in the front, left hand coming up with the ball. Now our wrists cross. Again, your right's parallel, left's perpendicular. Now twist back to the east. Left palm faces east and press. And grab that ball back. Your weight shifts back on your left. Toes of your right come up toward your eyes. Push them down into the water. Bring them back up. And then push. All right. Now let's put it all together from the very beginning. You guys are making a lot of progress if you're sticking with me here. All right, so all your weights on your left, take the heel of your right to the ball of your left, pivot on that right toe, set it down. Feet parallel, directly in your hip sockets, facing forward, and your toes are mostly even. Hands beside your side, root down through your feet, pull up through your crown. Let's take a nice deep breath. Let's inhale. And as you exhale, let's bring those hands up. Palms facing each other. Now as they get shoulder height, your palms are going to face down. Roll them towards you. Okay, as they get close to your body, you're going to push them down. And as you push down, you're bending with your knees. Where it's comfortable, remember, stay in that comfort zone. Hands back beside your side. Now make sure that your crown is reaching up, your sacrum's tilted, and your backbone is straight like a string of pearls and a stack of coins. Now if you've had back issues, back surgery or anything like that, remember stay in your comfort zone. Sometimes it may cause issue to try to pull that spine apart, so you want to try to again stay in that comfort zone and listen to your body. Okay, our hands are back beside our side. Now we're going to hug the ball. All of our weight on our right, left toes up, over, set it down, all your weights back to your left. You're picking up your right foot and you're rolling it out to the east. We always go heel, ball, toe first. Then the toes of your left are up and over. Now push forward on your right and your hands go top and bottom. Now take your left foot and we're rolling it out to north. Heel, as you step down with your heel, you're bringing that left arm up, your right hand down. Ball toe, shift that weight, your right toes up and over. Hands beside your side, let's bring it on up. Palms facing each other, holding the ball. Roll your right foot out, your heel ball toe, and as your right toe, as your left toes come up and over, you're moving that ball. You're facing your power center east. Weight shifts back on your left, and we're bringing that ball around. Around hand up and now our wrists are going to cross and we're going to rotate back to the east palm faces east and press now freeze here for just a minute and check your posture is your crown up is your tail grounded is your backbone straight like a string of pearls and a stack of coins are you rooted through your feet and your heels 
and press. Grab that ball back. Shift back on your left foot. Right toes up. Bring that ball to your eyes. Push it down into the water. Let it come back up. And now we're going to push. Push it real good. All right. So now it's your turn. Now work at it for a few minutes. And then we'll come back for some closing thoughts. Awesome. Well, I hope you enjoyed Tai Chi with Tish today at Dick's Park. And we'll bring others to you in the series, so be on the lookout for it. And I'd like to give a huge, huge thank out to Miss Sammy Baker, the best videographer ever. So she took great shots and great lighting to make sure that you could see everything that you needed to see and hear everything you needed to hear. So thanks again to Sammy, and hopefully we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.